Well, that was super nice. I thought maybe it would be a completely disaster staying at the beach in that weather. The rain was coming down pretty hard yesterday and it was quite cold, but we got a fire going. She brought some delicious food, both meat and some cake and everything and wine. <laughs> so we had, we had a great time. That was uh, super, super nice. It's always fun to meet people that you've only talked with on, uh, on social medias and, and see who are they, how they thought you would, are they how you thought they would be. Because you always kind of make up your mind when you talk to them and you kind of imagine what, they're, what they'll be like. And she was exactly what I thought she would be like. Super, super cool, down to earth, easy to talk to, uh, just chill, yeah. I'm gonna stop by a, um, there's like a gas station up here, a little cafe, uh, and just try to decide where I'm going next, because um, I don't really know if I want to do Trans Euro Trail today. I probably, I probably will. I'm just thinking that perhaps it's, uh, since it's, it rained quite a bit, a lot, yesterday and all the night, uh, there's a good chance that the roads are really nasty and muddy. We'll figure it out. This tape is not taping anymore. Uh, anyway, coffee is consumed and plants are made. I will continue on the Trans Euro Trail, is my decision. It's so much nicer than doing the main roads. And uh, so much of the Trans Euro Trail is on like smaller asphalt roads and stuff anyway, so yeah. I'll just continue on the Trans Euro Trail and then see what happens. So yeah, let's see what today will bring. <laughs> it's amazing what a cup of coffee can do, you guys. Woo! Here we are. Goodbye, main roads. Now let me just very easy. Done! I love that. Love that! I've been really bad at like shifting while I stand up riding so I'm like trying to practice a little bit of that and I have to say that the <laughs> quick shift on this bike sure makes that a whole lot easier not having to clutch I just feel like I'm about to lose balance every time I try to lift my foot or like change my foot position on the left side to change gear but that's just uh, just practice I guess I think I'm probably my foot placement is probably not the best, maybe, I don't know, we're getting there. I feel like this is really the home of beers and muses and wolverines probably, lynx perhaps. Reindeers. 
Navigating through these seemingly endless gravel stretches provided great opportunities to practice my gear shifting skills while simultaneously keeping an eye out for wildlife. In fact, my scouting wasn't limited to just animals. I found myself searching for any subtle changes in the landscape offering a break from the dense forest. We are back on solid surface for a little while at least. Like whenever there's something different than just forest, that's super nice. And also, take a look at all the clouds I am surrounded by. It wasn't supposed to rain today, so I'm hoping that <laughs> that's actually the case. That I can uh, ride away from these dark clouds. As I continued along the track going south, I realized I would soon be crossing a significant landmark for a second time this trip. Yep, that's the one. Polar Circle, Arctic Circle, whatever you want to call it, it's here. Cool. I feel like it's been forever since I crossed it going north. And now we're already crossing it going south. Time flies, guys. <laughs> They put their stickers all the way up here. Eh? I have mine ready. Whoa. But I don't think I can't <laughs> put it all the way up there. Let's put it. Alright, now let's escape these bugs. Whenever I'm stopping, they're just, just crawling around me. Especially these fuckers, because they bite. Oof! Let's get out of here. No! Da -da -da. You can't suck anything out of my bike, you little shit. <laughs> ah, air! 25 degrees, you guys, that's pretty nice. Finally, it opens up. Views, guys. We have a view. Hello, friends. Oh, they're so nice. Look at the small ones. They're all different colors. Hello, can I pass? Is that okay? On this side, maybe? Here I come. <laughs> Oop. How about here? Can I pass here? Hi, guys. Look at that little white one. Oh. It's so calm. I feel like sheep, they kind of panic, but these reindeers, they're just so calm. 
it's so nice that I can just pull over on the side of the road and just hang out here. And there's no traffic. Oh, I love it. Love it! in Yukmuk and I'm thinking I need to find somewhere to to eat I'm quite hungry it's already five o'clock in the evening where does the time go After dinner, it was time to find somewhere to camp, which should be easy enough considering Adelmansretten, the right to roam, applies in Sweden just like in Norway, giving you the opportunity to camp pretty much wherever you want with some restrictions. Still, for this evening, I opted for a campground just for the luxury of a service building. Alright, so I just came by this hotel to pay for the camping, and then the camping is just down here. Before you say anything, let me explain. This is the result of having a braid during rain and letting it dry and then trying to brush it out afterwards. It's a interesting result, but that's just how it is. In addition to that, I got like a Brazilian mosquito bite in my face. Like I have one like right here on my eye. I have several on my cheek and my forehead and it's just itching everywhere. Those little suckers, they just bite you right through your clothes and everything. Um, anyway, it's that time of the day where we are supposed to look at a map and we will, but not the same map as, as, we, as we're used to. There's a mosquito flying around in. There's so many bugs up here and they are so distracting. Excuse me. All right, focus. I decided to put away um, the big map that I, I <laughs> tried to work on for one, one evening before I gave up apparently. But mostly because uh, the Transuro Trail, oh, it's itching. The Transuro Trail that I'm, uh, I'm riding, it's, it, there's so many roads like in and out and here and there and trying to sit and find them exactly on a map first on the phone and then find them on the map and to draw them up. It's just, it's just gonna take me forever. So I'll rather show you um, a picture of a section of the setet that I was uh, writing and I'll put a link in the description to the whole GPX file of the entire Transuro Trail on the website and everything where you can find information and then I'll rather tell you um, the location of where I start today and where I end the day and maybe it's a little bit like in between where I'm where I am that's the plan going forward I think until I'm back on some like normal normal tracks again uh, the plan is to continue on the Transuro Trail for a while um, tomorrow. I'm just going to see how long it's, it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, it is really fun to ride it, even though it is probably not the most interesting at all to, to watch. Um, there's a whole mosquito. Ooh. There's a whole lot of just um, forest. And every now and then there's a lake, there's some reindeers, then there's more forest. But the roads are fun. Um, I spent the evening doing some more research on uh, flying a drone because I know there's a whole lot of different rules. The, the rules are not so different in Sweden, they're actually pretty much the same as entire Europe, but they have different rules for 
publishing the pictures and videos and stuff taken with the drone that shows, um, well, pictures taken from the air, basically. So you have to send them in and have them approved that they are not showing anything they're not supposed to show, basically. Um, I read somewhere that the, that the application process took like 40 days to even get the approval. But now that I, I read some more, I think it's only about like two weeks. So I think that should work. Um, yeah, I think that should work. So as soon as I get home, uh, I'll start sending in all the material I have from Sweden to get it approved or disapproved or whatever. Because drone material just makes such, such a big difference in, in the movies, in my opinion at least. It just breaks it up a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, it's so, like I said previously, I think, it's like it's so easy in Norway because there's good views everywhere. You just take up your camera arm, you film some mountains and then boom, you got a fantastic shot. But here, like I have to... I started out like so strong with Norway and then maybe I should have turned it like the other way around, like doing Denmark and Sweden first and then boom, ending with Norway and with the good views and all that stuff because I know you guys like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy being a part of this as much as I enjoy sharing it and as much as I enjoy doing this because it is it is a lot of fun. And anyway, I'm done with my chit chat for the evening. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode and I'll see you in the next. Bye!